It's the end of an era at Hampton University. Dr. William R. Harvey is set to retire after 44 years. He's the longest serving president in the school's history and holds one of the longest tenures of any university president in the country. I sat down with him ahead of his final day in office to talk about his life, leadership, and legacy. The year was 1978. Jimmy Carter was president. A gallon of gas could have cost 65 cents. And as for what sticks out for Dr. William Harvey. You want to know something? I don't remember. <laughs> That's 45, 44 years ago. Well, he was busy that year taking the reins as the 12th president of then Hampton Institute. Well, I'm originally from Alabama and I wanted to return to the South to work at a predominantly black school. I have to follow my North Star. That star briefly took him to Fisk and Tuskegee universities before he found his home by the sea. Hampton had such a storied history. Starting with the vision of the university's founder, General Samuel Chapman Armstrong, whose words from 1878 resonate with Dr. Harvey. He said, I want my institution to emphasize two things. One is high academics and two, character development. Values that help define his career and shape his legacy. We got four satellites flying as you and I are talking right now. We've been able to build 30 new buildings. I saw the potential because of the past. And he was committed to securing a brighter future, overseeing the university's endowment growth from 29 million to 400 million, and meeting with every sitting U.S. president over the last four plus decades. But he says HU's success isn't due to him alone. A major player on that team, Dr. Harvey's wife of 55 years, Norma. Uh, this is not hyperbole. She's the very best first lady in the entire world. His partner in life and in business. I am listed as the sole owner of a Pepsi-Cola bottling company in, in Michigan. But the fact is, we went in it together. And together, they're starting a new chapter. Uh, I'm building a home for my wife and me right across the river. What I said that I wanted to do was to write. What Dr. Harvey says he won't do is retire with any regret. And I try to make an informed decision. And once that's done, I don't worry about the, uh, the consequences. And that's it. The end. <laughs> Hampton University reports more than 36,000 students have graduated during Dr. Harvey's tenure. His last day in office is June 30th. Retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General and HU alum Daryl K. Williams will officially take over as the university's 13th president.